Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create conditional formatting, like you can see here, that will just highlight the weekends and not just the dates, but the whole area. So what I'm going to do is um, just recreate this on this side of the screen. So I'll just copy the titles like so, and I'll just grab some of the data. I'll copy all of the data and just paste it without without val just values like so. So I haven't got the conditional formatting. So what I did was I basically started on this cell, went to conditional formatting, and used the workday function. Now before I do that. I'll show you what the workday function does. So that is today's date, which is a Tuesday. If I go equals um, weekday, not workday, weekday, and then pick on the date, and then just close the bracket on that or press enter. Comes up with the number three because by default, the working week starts um, with a one on a Sunday. So if I didn't want that to be the third day of the week, because it's the second working day of the week, I need to change this formula to a different option. So if you put a comma at the end of that, you get, you get all these different ranges. So you can select this one, for example. Number two would be one for Monday all the way to seven for Sunday, which is the one I want to use. And there's all these other options you can choose as well. So I'm just going to put a number two after the comma and then that number will change to be two which is the second day of the week because if i didn't do that and what i'll do is i won't do it and i'll just show you how this um, goes wrong so what i need to do is click on to this first cell h2 go into conditional formatting and set my rule just delete that rule out of the way so new rule it's a formula option so when you use a formula in, in in conditional formatting, it has to come back with the true or false. So it's weekday, and the cell is going to be that cell, but I don't want it to have that dollar sign on it there. I just want to lock the H, weekday, and it needs to be greater than five. Now that formula is not correct at the minute, but let's just see what happens. And it's going to be blue. OK, OK, and I'll change that so it applies to this whole list. And then OK, and then you get the blue highlighting, but in the wrong place because of what I mentioned earlier with this. So it's highlighting second as a weekend. The second is a Friday. So that's what I need to do. I need to. Just go back into this and highlight or change that rule. So basically I need to put the comma two in there, comma two. So now one is going to be Monday and five and uh, six and seven will be Saturday and Sunday. So okay to that. Okay again. And now it does block off just the weekends. And if I want this to I'll just go back into conditional formatting, manage rules. If I want this to extend to the whole table, highlight the whole table, like so. OK. And it extends to the whole table. So I'll just let you have a look at the manage rules formula. So edit rule. So it's the weekday. You're dollar sign in the, the column, but not the row. And you're using, if this is the system you want, um, comma two. And it goes one to seven, Monday being a one, seven being a Sunday. So you want it greater than five. And then that is applying to the whole range. So you get the, the whole range of this colouring up for you. Okay. And obviously you'd have to extend that range if this came down, if you pull these dates down. But that's basically all I want to talk about in this little session. So hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you on the next one.